Here is the story of King David from the Bible. In the unassuming town of Bethlehem, a young shepherd boy spent his days tending his family's flock across the pastoral hillsides. His name was David, the youngest of eight sons born to a man named Jesse. While his older brothers served in King Saul's armies defending Israel, David remained in the fields, performing the humble duties of a keeper of sheep. Yet even in his youth David carried himself with a confidence instilled by the solitude of long hours under the Judean skies. As he watched over his woolly charges, he grew intimately aware of the valley's dangers, its rocky crevasses harboring predators like lions and bears constantly prowling for wandering lambs. Through arduous training and his skilled mastery of the sling, David cultivated a fearless fortitude to protect his vulnerable flock, embodying an abiding devotion to the God of his ancestors. On one ordinary day, David could scarcely imagine the extraordinary course his life was about to take. His father, Jesse, summoned him with an unexpected errand. Take supplies to your brothers at the battlefield against the Philistines and bring back word of how they fare on the front lines. David dutifully set out for the Valley of Elah where Saul's forces had amassed, only to find the entire army paralyzed by terror before the Philistine giant Goliath. For over a month the towering warrior had marched out each morning taunting the Israelites and daring them to send a champion to battle him one-on-one, -on -one, the victor determining the war's outcome. David was appalled to see grown soldiers cowering from Goliath's scornful blasphemies against the God of Israel. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine to defy the armies of the living God? He cried, his voice piercing the petrified ranks. Brought before the incredulous King Saul, David insisted on facing the giant himself. Though scoffed at for his youthful audacity, he recounted his past exploits slaying lions and bears that threatened his flock. This pagan Goliath is no more formidable than those wild beasts who dared attack what is precious to me and my people. To the shock of all, Saul permitted the shepherd boy to go out and engage the Philistine juggernaut. Declining the king's armor, David gathered his simple shepherd's staff, leather sling and a pouch of stones. As Goliath bellowed fresh insults at this unsuitable challenger, David calmly swung his sling and released a stone that sank with blinding speed into the giant's forehead. The boastful Philistine crashed to the ground, his reign of terror over. David had slain the mighty Goliath with his unwavering courage and trust in the living God. Exodus to destiny. News of David's incredible valor over Goliath quickly spread, igniting fresh songs of heroic praise among the Israelites. But unbeknownst to the young champion, his renown also sparked the beginnings of dark jealousy within the haunted mind of King Saul. Initially, Saul pulled David into the palace and heaped honors upon him. Yet as David grew ever more admired, the unstable monarch's spirit twisted into contempt. One evening, as the warrior poet serenaded the court with his harp and lyres, Saul's envy exploded in a violent rage, hurling a spear directly at David's head. Thus began a long descent into madness for Saul, whose paranoia repeatedly drove him to attempt, assassinating the man who had saved his kingdom. Forced to flee into the wilderness with his own renegade band, David spent over half a decade as a fugitive constantly evading Saul's pursuit to kill him. On one occasion, David stole into the very cave where Saul had entered alone, defenseless. Though urged to slay the deranged king, David's reverence for God's anointed ruler stayed his hand. He merely sliced a tassel from Saul's robe as proof of his mercy. After a climactic series of events culminating in Saul's tragic death, David's wanderings finally ended as he was anointed king over the reunited tribes of Israel. His humble beginnings as a shepherd prepared him to lead the nation through military campaigns expanding its territory and power like never before under his 40-year reign. The king's greatest flaw, despite such incredible triumphs, David still proved himself a flawed man susceptible to his own weaknesses. One evening, while his armies were away fighting, the king caught sight of a beautiful woman named Bathsheba bathing. Burning with sinful lust, David summoned her, and they committed adultery together. Once Bathsheba revealed she was pregnant from their illicit affair, David compounded his transgression. First, he tried to cover his sin by calling her husband Uriah, one of his elite soldiers, home under the pretense of lying with his wife. 
But when Uriah's integrity as a warrior kept him from being with Bathsheba, David resorted to even darker means to bury his wrongdoing. David willfully ordered Uriah's death on the battlefield. Once the honorable soldier was killed in action, the king promptly took Bathsheba as his own wife. Though his deplorable actions were initially hidden, God sent the prophet Nathan to confront David over his grievous sins. When finally exposed, David's authentic repentance was as complete as his previous iniquity. He poured out his brokenness in some of the most gut-wrenchingly honest poems found in Scripture. The king faced judgment through the untimely death of his child with Bathsheba. Even so, God demonstrated his faithfulness by keeping David's royal line established. When a successor became needed, it was through Bathsheba's son Solomon that David's legacy continued as the covenant ancestor of the promised Messiah, the shepherd's final valor. In his later years, David faced repeated conflicts and turmoil as a result of his past indiscretions. His sons waged a vicious rebellion against their father's rule, nearly toppling the kingdom. Through such pain, David learned what it meant to entrust his life and destiny into the hands of the ultimate sovereign. When a deadly plague struck the land due to David's sinful pride, he interceded as a shepherd willing to lay down his life for his people. I am the one who sinned and acted wickedly, but these sheep, what have they done? He pleaded with God. Ultimately, God granted David a vision instructing him where to erect an altar for making atonement, portending great events still to come. As death drew near, David's final written words resonated with resounding humility, gratitude and awe at what the shepherd of Israel had done through this flawed but redeemed instrument. Who am I, sovereign Lord, and what is my family that you have brought me this far, and you did not stop there, but have also spoken about the future of my family? Is this your regular way of dealing with man, sovereign Lord, for you have looked into the distant future and have spoken about the everlasting dynasty of man? Though he had experienced many dark valleys and recurrent battles, David's life remained grounded in his faithful God, who had raised him from humble beginnings as a shepherd boy. His story stands as one of history's most powerful portraits of the paradox of an all-knowing creator using a deeply flawed, yet devoted follower as a pivotal forerunner to the coming of his perfect son, the Good Shepherd. Lessons from David's Life God raises up even the most seemingly insignificant of people to impact the world for his purposes if they remain faithful. Courage and confidence flow from a heart devoted to serving God regardless of one's age, resources or qualifications. Even the most heroic individuals battle inner demons like pride, jealousy and lust that threaten to undo them from within. No sin is too great for authentic repentance to restore the right relationship with God if one's remorse is sincere. A truly redeemed life enables one's testimony of God's relentless pursuit of love and mercy to be passed on for generations. Every human being is a paradox capable of great good and evil, heroism and cowardice, only God's grace makes the difference. Understanding and humbly submitting to one's role as a flawed but valued instrument in God's unfolding story is the path of wisdom. In humanity's most impossible circumstances, the shepherd king never forsakes his own along the journey to ultimate restoration.